So I saw this thing, this um, Vesta space heater and stove recently on the Provident Preppers. Another product I've bought because I saw them talk about it and I really liked it. Um, I haven't tested this thing yet. I just unboxed it and set it up to film. So basically you put these little things of canned heat in there. They, they kind of look like a sterno can. You put them in the bottom and then, you know, it's got a little grill so you can like set a pot on it. You can fit three of the canned heat cans in there at once. Uh, they, you light them, they provide the heat. The kind of cool thing about this is, is it's got a little fan and it's a thermoelectric fan so you don't need power. As it heats up, differences in the temperature in the material will cause the fan to rotate. And after like three or five minutes, I think, it's up to speed. And it'll, you know, help circulate air. So presumably, you could use this in, say, your bedroom. Put it on a safe surface. Make sure you've got either a window cracked or the door open to the rest of the house just a little. So you're not getting any you know, oxygen deprivation or, or anything of the sort. And yeah, you should be able to heat up to 200 square feet, it claims. I don't so much care about that. Um, if we're without power and there's a heat issue, we've got so many blankets and we can just get in bed and just layer ourselves in blankets. So not really worried about that. I thought that was kind of cool though. And, you know, maybe it'll have some use or something. But what I was really interested in is it's an alternative way to cook. We've got uh, propane, we've got butane camp stoves, we've got a large propane tank for, you know, like a grill, we have a grill, we have a Kelly kettle, we have solo stove, we have all these ways that we can cook, but I like having options. And this is a nice one because you can just pop out the cans, put two or three in there, heat up whatever you're doing. And if we're trying to cook a bunch of stuff at once, you know, we have two of the propane butane camping stoves. But what if we need a third burner? So here we go. Uh, yeah, so let's check this thing out. So I'm gonna tilt it here a little for you. Lighting this thing is not the easiest thing because it's like jet black. Well, it's not jet black, it's, it's blacker than jet black. So here's your little fan. Let me see if I can tilt this without losing everything. And as that heats up, this little doodad in here gets the heat differences and it generates a very tiny amount of electricity, which is just enough to circulate that fan. You've got, you know, pretty much the same on that side. And then on this side, you've got your vent. And, and this is where your fuel comes in. Let's go back to this side real quick. So this pushes all the way in. I don't know if you can see it in the frame. But they've got this little snuffer for snuffing out the cans. And you use this to pull. There's a little hook there. Hard to see. So you use this to pull the heating tray out. That way you can snuff the cans. You know, the metal's gonna be hot. Set it this way. Come around here. All right, so this is about the best position I can get. This table's just not long enough and I don't have another good surface. As far as this cookie tray, um, baking tray, whatever, I just was trying to protect the wood. This is pretty heavy metal and I just didn't want to scratch my table up. Presumably if you're using this in some situation, you know, this would also be good because it's gonna protect the material a little bit better. I imagine this thing's not putting a whole lot of heat to the bottom since the cans are containing the heat and it's going up. But, you know, let's just be safe. Always be safe. So, like I said, this has a little hook here. You hook it in here, grab one of these handles, and then you can pull that tray out. So the tray, there you go, you can see it, holds the three little cans in place and we'll drive this thing. So I believe we need a can in space three. I mean, in space one. Here's what the cans look like. These are the InstaFire ones that um, are frequently sold alongside this unit. You know, just a little bit of liquid in there. Wow, that cap's on there good. All right. So as you can see, it's just, um, some sort of wicking material. It has a very, it kind of smells like a fingernail polish remover if you had diluted it like with 10 times as much water. So let me set two of these up here. 
Oh, man, those caps are on there good. So you're definitely not going to get any leakage. Oh, they have a nice gasket, too. Can you see that? Yeah. That's why they're snug. So let me grab my lighter. Try to move you back here a little so you can see what we're doing. Oh, first let me do this while well, it's cool. So, you know, this top comes off, and that's your heater. Um, you also have this grill here. That's what you can set your pot on or, you know, whatever else. Mostly just a pot, I guess. Maybe a stainless cup or something. And then this unit is basically just this metal stuff. Same thing on the bottom. And these little, little doodads. And this is where your, uh, your thermoelectric thing is going to power this little fan. Let's get you in there. Well, sorry, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. You can kind of get the idea. You can see this online too. So we put this on here. Let's make sure it's secure. There are two tabs on the back that this kind of slides into. There's two more tabs here. And then when we slide this tray in, there's a little bar that'll go in there. So let's get it lit. Well, okay, it is lit. It definitely burns kind of light. Yeah, that one's lit. Well, I'm gonna kill the light for a second to make sure these are lit. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but towards the bottom of your screen, you can see one of the flames. Definitely not the brightest things. Um, so keep that in mind when you light them to be safe. The lights are coming back on in three, two, one. Uh, you can thank Big Clive for that. I always likes when he does that. I always likes. I always like when he does that. So they're getting a little bit more visible. You can kind of see this one now. So since this isn't hot, normally you could push it in with your hand, but I'm going to use their little tool. And then I'm going to grab this handle, and there we go. So um, I'm going to start a timer, and we'll see how long it takes this fan to get going, and I'll come back then. All right, we're at 57 seconds, and the, span, or the fan just started spinning. Let me take my microphone here. You can hear it. And then I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and uh, try to get you in there. So we were at 57 seconds. Now we're at four minutes and 40 seconds. You can see it's going at a very decent speed. If you look at the oscillation there, um, you should be able to hear it. And sorry, let me set the camera down. Well, I'll just talk like this. So I, I definitely feel a decent amount of heat coming out of the end of it. There's only two cans in here. With a third can, you'd obviously get more heat. In an enclosed space that's well ventilated, let me stress that again, in a closed space that is well ventilated, um, I could definitely see this making an impact over, you know, even five or ten minutes and heating things up. I'm not sure it's something that I would rely on for heat, but in a pinch, it could definitely make things a little bit more comfortable. Again, we have a lot of blankets, and I have the little hand warmer packets, and you know we, we we can find ways to stay warm. We all we both have thermal underwear, and we can dress in layers and all that. So not too worried about this as a heating source, but I did like it as an alternative cooking source. With two or three cans in here, I should be able to get water boiling in a decent clip. Um, there's tons of videos out there that show stuff like that, so I'm I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bore you, but yeah, I just thought the thing was really cool. Uh, I love that it has this little thermal electric thing. I, I've, I've seen these for, I don't know, 10 years now in products and for like campfires for powering a small fan or something. And I always thought they're kind of cool, but it was neat to see one actually put into a small application like this. And I'll, I'll say it's, you know, this dining room is connected to our living room and it's a pretty big room. And I definitely noticed the heat's increasing in the immediate area. And I can feel the heat rating off of this thing. Um, it's still pretty warm here. And about double that distance, I can still notice the heat. But yeah, if I was just sitting next to this thing and I was in a small room, had the window cracked, I'd, I'd be a happy man. Anyway, yeah, this is um, 
this is just a really cool thing. This is the Vesta heater slash stove, and it's just using these little jars of canned heat. So yeah, InstaFire Vesta self-powered indoor space heater and stove, really cool. Um, I think it was like 80 or 90 bucks, maybe a hundred, and then the fuel, another 12 cans was either 80 or 100 bucks. And it was less than $200 for both of them. Obviously prices can change, but yeah, if, if you've got a little money to burn and want something kind of cool, this is definitely it. Uh, thanks for stopping by guys.